Good morning everybody, it's Friday. I am coming at you rather fresh faced because it is early. My eyes are moly. My eyes are very rarely moly. Normally I've had a good night's sleep. My face isn't still creased. I slept on a silk pillow. I don't know. <laughs> this is not a good advertisement for a silk pillowcase. And the reason for this is because today Today, a Christmas miracle is happening, people. I'm having some work done on the house. It's actually been like two days now of like bits being done. Yesterday, my security was installed, which took like quite a long time. But a Christmas miracle is happening because today my shutters are going in. So in the space of two days, I, I've been waiting more than six months. I think I moved in more than six months ago. I've been waiting to have privacy and security in my home. But I basically have like done the crazy rushing around pre-tidy that you do. Actually, no, I'm not gonna put that there. I did the crazy rushing around pre-tidy thing that you do when you're a YouTuber where you hide all evidence of what you do for a living. Nothing that anyone could ask a single question about. No, like, tripods, no ring light, no cameras. This is not gonna be on site. And I will not be vlogging the work from Master here. I just, I just can't. This is why I'm very grateful that a lot of people that work on my house already know what I do for a living because it's kind of, like, less... Less questions. Anyway, this is one of the windows that will be shuttered. I am so very thankful. Luckily, I live in an area that is like all bungalows. So it's great in terms of like privacy. That was one of the things I really wanted when I was looking for a property. I desperately, oh, hold please. That was my alarm telling me to wake up. That was the if you oversleep alarm. I did not need it. I've been up for a long time. So anyway, this is the window that's being shuttered. Like I was saying, luckily I have a lot of privacy that was like a must when I was buying a house. I didn't want a back garden that was overlooked by other properties so much. I really like my privacy. I could go into it in detail, but because I feel like it doesn't make sense. It's a really weird thing for someone to want to not be overlooked, which is really important to me. And I love the fact that I could be out here when it was all like heat wavy and not worry. Are you ready? Are you ready to see it? Because I was going to wait until tomorrow and be really cool, but I've changed my mind. I am so happy with this. It's taken my eyes a little while to adjust to seeing the windows like this because when the shutters are open, it kind of makes the windows look a little bit smaller just because you obviously have your edging. But it's so gorgeous and it just feels so private in here now, which is lovely. It's a big chunk of money, really. Like this was more affordable than I thought it was going to be, but still for what it is, it's a big chunk of money, but one that I was willing to pay because it kind of helps to add a little bit of value to your home. But especially with this bay window, it looks so beautiful. I'm actually going to be able to vlog in here. This looks really dark because I've obviously like shut them. They're kind of like half shut. I will be able to vlog in here without vlogging the outside of my house. And that is so great. And then this is how my bedroom is looking. It really finishes off the windows so nicely in here. This room does need a little bit of work to it, but it definitely hasn't been a priority, but the priority for this room was to get the shutters in because obviously it's nice to have privacy in your bedroom, but yeah, it finishes off the room really beautifully. I've also had a lot of deliveries today, which I am super happy about. I'm very excited to tuck into these. Let me show you one delivery has arrived though. This is a fire pit for outside in my garden so that me and my friends, we're a very small group of friends, which is ideal. And we can toast marshmallows 
in my garden together. So I bought a fire pit. There is one that I have my eye on. And let me tell you, it's the bougiest fire pit I have ever seen. Looks like something that should be in Kim Kardashian's like living room. But in the meantime, this one is really simple and it wasn't like hideously expensive because some fire pits really are so expensive. what is the time well we're literally only just catching the morning it is 11 51 i had a long lay in this morning and it was very much needed and i probably could do with going back to bed if i'm very honest i am feeling super run down like i woke up this morning and my skin hopefully you can't see but yeah we have gone very minimal and i'm really enjoying it i'm going to talk you through my whole beauty routine i think in the next video and i've got a few new bits that i have been using that i wanted to show you as well like this this lip this lip is just giving me life i am obsessed with it i'll give you a sneak peek oh no should i no we'll save it for the video but this lip product you don't want to sleep on it it is so great i'm obsessed it's like that perfect color you know if you're like not wearing makeup or if you're wearing makeup it still looks good i am obsessed with colors like that and I need to find this colour in a lipstick because I've always been looking for a lipstick that works whether I'm wearing makeup or not. You know, like sometimes you just want to throw one on. But this morning, I need to sort through some of my deliveries. There is a lot. So we're going to sort through that this morning. Ryan was here this morning. I've now, you will notice I've now got the dog back. She's back and I missed her so much. But he's actually working today. So my Saturday is going to be spent sorting my laugh out, sorting out deliveries. And then later, I think it's time for wine quite frankly. Also, shutter update, by the way, I am completely obsessed. The quality of them is literally amazing, like so much better than the ones I had in, if any of you remember the house that I used to live in before, the quality is just incredible, like so sturdy, so thick. Honestly, I'm just so happy with them. So hopefully by now I will have put all of the details on my home account, so I'll link that. But anyway, I'm getting distracted. Let's go through this. Okay, people. I hope this camera angle's good because I really don't know what I'm doing anymore. So, disclaimer, I don't know if any of this is going to be in stock because this took an age to arrive. This looks so nice. Why am I shouting? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Oh, uh, I don't want to put this on with this top on because I have a feeling. Yeah, no, <laughs> not with the black top on. Oh my God, this is so soft. It's like brushed so it's like that super i can see bits of it flying in the air that's a good sign this is going to be so lovely with like my lighter colored coats i can't ignore this this is so cute i've tried to purchase this several times in store this is so cute i can't wait to try that on oh that is that is delicious you know what else is the definition of delicious me and nala having matching christmas jumpers Anyway, so H&M do dog jumpers and I have been trying to get one. Like they sell out immediately, immediately. And I was just basically checking the H&M website every single day. It was, I was relentless. Oh my God, it's got sequins on it. Nana, come here. She's got a bow on today as well, by the way. She's looking very festive. Show everyone your new jumper. Look. So she puts her head through straight away. Oh my goodness. You look so it fits perfectly oh it's so cute it's got little sequins on it this is the best christmas jumper because the red one i'm not gonna lie it wasn't to my color palette you get a roll neck as well yeah you shake it off anyway so my christmas jumper this year i love this one hang on i'm super excited about this one because it's basically like the high street version of the chloe jumpers that are around i'll see if i can find a picture and i'll it here. I really love the Chloe jumpers. They're definitely a lot more like the knit is like more chunky, whereas this is more fine. It's perfect. It's like neutral. I've got a pop of red. It's neutral, but it's festive. It's got a high neck, but not a roll neck, which is go. I'm oh, so happy. Please fit me. Please fit me. We have oh yes, 
Susie, yes, good shopping decision. See, this is how long it's taken to get to me. I don't actually remember because I didn't use my H&M login, so I can't log in and sometimes I refresh my memory and I'm like, oh, I've got that order coming. What was that? Goldfish memory, guys, honestly. But this cable knit is gorgeous. It's black. It's got a really lovely classic cable knit on it. And on me, it's just that perfect length where I think it's gonna cover my bum, but it's not gonna be too long. I got this in a large. What size did I get the cream one in? The cream one I'm obsessed with because me and Nala are going to be matching because she's got a cream cable now. <laughs> so I got this one in a small, so this one is a lot more cropped. But like I said, I've been looking for a black long cable knit so i'm very excited about that one that with a pair of chunky boots like chunky ankle boots and leather leggings or even just normal leggings is that is going to see me through until spring i am so excited basically the past couple of months i've just been very aware of how little chunky knits i have in my wardrobe i have a lot of light knits that are really fine i was also I never realized how few like basic tops I've had. So I've actually just done an ASOS order for some basic tops because I live in this m and thermal and I actually want to get another one of these because when it's in the wash, I'm so sad because it's just such a staple in my wardrobe, even just as a piece on its own. This I'm not sure on. I love the off the shoulder vibe at the moment. Rosie Huntington Whiteley just gets to me every time. But this one feels like it's gonna be a bit tight. I would have liked it a bit looser. We will see. I also don't love the length. I've been about a human and I've bought another coat. But I really wanted a long black one that was like proper sleeping baggy. I don't know. I might not keep this. Like, do I really need another coat? But I'm just obsessed with like a practical coat. And this one does look goals. So I know what this is. This is the one thing that I've been like waiting for out of this order. You're really not making this easy for me, honey. Well, I will get my scissors. I'll show you that in a bit. We'll try this stuff on. I'm so excited to try on. This is so cute. You could wear this tucked. I'm never really a fan of like a high-waisted tuck with a chunky jumper, unless it's with a skirt. And this could look really cute actually with my leather kind of like khaki green skirt. This like tucked in, I think would be very cute, but it is quite short because obviously it is in a smaller size and normally I would size up in my knitwear. But yeah, this is what it looks like. I've got chunky boots on the bottom. These are from Zara. I've had them for years, but they bring them back in just an ever so slightly different style every year. They always bring out a chain pair and they do always bring out a pearl pair, but they, the detailing of the pearls are just like a bit different. But I think I'll most likely either wear it with jeans or with like high-waisted mom jeans. And then I think a tuck is really cool when you've got like a light pair of high-waisted mom jeans. I don't think I'm ever getting this scarf back, you guys. <laughs> Honestly, put a scarf down somewhere and she's like a cat. You know where there's that meme that's like, if it fits, I sit. That is my dog. How festive do I look right now? <laughs> I look like I belong under my Christmas tree. This is without a doubt my perfect festive knit. I honestly don't think I'll need another one ever again, but I love the length. It looks really cute with the boots. I think with this one, I'd probably wear it with my lace up knee-high boots. So you guys, if you've been watching for a little while, will know how much I love an all-black outfit. And this is just the dream. The length of this is absolutely bang on. I did give it a little tug to kind of just like loosen it up a bit. The sleeves are really nice and long, which I am loving because obviously this time of year, that is exactly what I want. And the cable knit detail is just so classic and timeless. So yeah, very, very happy with my knitwear buys. The coat is cute. Do I need it? Probably not. I mean, definitely not. I think it might be just a little bit too marshmallowy on me. And I love a marshmallow coat, you know, but I think this might be too much. I actually think this if this was in a color, like not a color, but like not black, I think that it would kind of be a vibe that it was so oversized. I think the issue with the black is that it is just gonna blend with everything else and I look like a whole mass of black whereas when I wear white I've normally got like black on underneath and there's some kind of like differentiation I think this one is gonna be a no lots of you will be pleased to hear because you'll probably be screaming you don't need another coat but in my defense this was incredibly practical and I love a practical coat so funny in summer I'm like yes give me strapless everything I want it in the winter no and it's not because it's cold, which I think is most people's like, that's the normal response to why you wouldn't go shoulderless. But there's for some reason, there is something about knitwear off shoulder that I'm just not sure on. I think my thought behind this was if I have my hair cut shorter again, which I will be. The bob always looks really great if I've got minimal around my shoulders, but obviously it's winter, so I want to be warm. We'll see. Let me know what you think. So I just wanted to give you an example of the scarf and how I wear it. I actually have a new brown belt on the way, which is why we're just like working with this black one. I've got my mango 
cardigan on underneath and then this scarf is like the perfect cream color i love the little like fluffy bits it's got as well and you can kind of tuck those in if you don't want to see them i just think it's a really cute vibe and i think with a brown belt around here and then maybe like a pair of maybe blue jeans maybe or like brown leather trousers that could look really cute as well i think this would be a really cute outfit but yeah because it's cream i just think it would look perfect with like a brown leather belt around the waist so hopefully that arrives very soon So this is one of the final items I've been waiting for for the office. I obviously have a little bit more zhuzhing to do. There's actually a few more bits that I'm waiting for, but in terms of like statement pieces, this is one of the final items. It's like a gray black marble tray. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. Exhibit A. Although I have to say, I don't know if I love, everything is so symmetrical on these shelves and I don't know if I love something being in the middle because normally you've got like right and left the whole way. I'll leave it like that for the rest of the day and see how much it like hurts my soul. Some of you and I have already said during Vlogmas that I'm an ASOS ambassador. So every month we work together on Instagram content. So today's job is to whip this open and kind of go through my picks and make sure I'm happy with anything. I never feature anything that I wouldn't recommend to you guys. So like I said earlier, there's a few bits in here that I picked up as like basics and I want to check those out because I'm really, <laughs> sadly, really excited about those bits because I just love a good basic. So I'm really excited about those. There's also a couple of potential like festive items in here we will see so this is like a cream jumpsuit in like a rib but it's got like a twisted open back that's a lovely item if you want to be like really comfy throughout the christmas period but you also then want to look like pulled together as well we also have the bottoms to a top that i ordered classic suits so we have these really simple gray bottoms but the top is a really lovely wrap top it's like short sleeve wrap top and I just thought that would be so lovely throughout winter and spring even in summer because summer isn't always like super hot for us. I also picked up these oh these are just the most lovely kind of like grazy chocolate color like a minky chocolatey color oh they are so lovely it's so soft. My cream slippers from ASOS which I believe were called the Nova I think they were called the Nova slippers they are like impossible to get hold of at the moment if you want them in cream the pink is like a little bit easier to get hold of every so often they come back into stock and I try and lengthen for you guys before they sell out again but that it's impossible but this is a very similar style again by ASOS design so very very similar style the only difference is the rib across the top I've always been really impressed with the quality of ASOS slippers like they really do last so well like my cream ones you know I've had them for over a year now they're still going strong so fingers crossed these will be the same also PSA the ASOS pink pajamas their silk pink pajamas have come back into stock and these are just gorgeous so gorgeous they're so light as well like really beautiful and light i'm excited to try these on i got these in a size 10 but the sizing looks really good they don't look like the kind of silk pajamas that you get in your regular size and it's like i can't move my shoulders because they're just built to be like quite structured in like a smart silk pajama this is like slouchy just goes so lots of you will know i love my black ribbed top shot wide leg trousers i wear them all the time they are like the perfect working from home companion and i saw these on asos and they're very similar to the co-ord i had last year which i sadly i wore it so much that it was disgusting and i sent it off to be like recycled like you know there's like british heart foundation will do that thing where they reuse clothes but that like you couldn't sell so i sent those off but i found a pair of the trousers which were one of the things that i loved most about that cord sadly there isn't a top for this i don't think but i think i might have found a similar one so that would be great if there was because it was my favorite cord like my absolute favorite but i also thought that my white bodies would go really nicely with this and i've got quite a few like white roll necks that would work really well with this as well so this is basically going to be the white outfit version of my like black wide leg trousers and the black bodies that i usually wear with it oh they're so soft and then we have the bottoms to the pink pajamas they look like a good length actually yeah they're a really good length i think they'll work well if you are taller but also if you are shorter as well you can wear them high-waisted yeah i think this is going to be a good one for me i think this is an organic cotton just like a really nice basic long sleeve t-shirt that is going to be an amazing one for my basics wardrobe and then we have a similar top but it has 
a high neck which i swear by this time of year because when you go out if you haven't got a scarf with you this just kind of keeps you really warm i love it when you find a good basic and i really love asos for their basics it is just difficult because you have to do a lot of shifting when it comes to asos like you have to scroll through the website or really like be very specific in what you're searching for and it can be very difficult and finally i have a pair of high-waisted leggings just because it's really good to have a lot of pairs of leggings to layer underneath things even if it's like jeans or my leather look leggings and the asos ones work quite affordable i believe so yeah i've picked these up so i'll show you those bits on now but i have a lot more to go through a lot more trying on to do for my instagram edit but i'm not going to go through it all with you because it would end up being half an hour long so i've just picked out a few of my favorite pieces and then i'm going to try everything on and work on my edit this evening so i'm definitely going to need another coffee before i start because nana gets tired now i can confirm these bottoms are so comfy so soft i am very happy with them now if i could just get a matching top asos that would literally make my life this body's okay but it's not one of my favorites it's from all saints but it's just like very see-through hence my hands being here i'm very happy with them honestly it's so comfortable i actually have like a white zara crop that could work really nicely with this as well but would love like a white slouchy jumper in the exact same tone maybe even with a little high neck that would be goals okay i moved my mirror i forgot how annoying it is when i shoot with the window at the side but anyway the first loungewear jumpsuit. I love, I think it is so cute. However, we have a slight issue in that it is just far too long for me. I think I would have to take this up for sure, but it's definitely not a wonderweb job because it is just so much longer. Yeah, I love this. I would highly recommend it if you are taller. It is beautiful. You do need to wear like a white or a nude underwear with it because it is a little bit sheer. Just for example, you can see the tattoos going on through it but yeah such a shame because this is such a gorgeous one and i think if i was taller i would 100 percent wear this over the festive period as like my comfy but very very cute loungewear i'm obsessed this is goals so simple but really really cute and something that would probably serve me well on those days when i'm just like home alone working from home tanning cleaning in the evening like this is just one of those really really easy pieces and it's not too light in its color that i would feel like quite precious about when i wear it it's just such a cute little cord i love a cord can i be the cord queen can i self crown myself that and the length of these are really good as well so they literally just touch the floor for me but if i wanted to wear them more high-waisted then i could could and they wouldn't touch the floor oh my goodness i really hope that these are still in stock by the time you guys see this because i need to let you know that these exist and i want you guys to be able to get your hands on them oh my goodness they are so cute i have tried about three times to get my hands on these fortunately they do get restocked hence me wearing them but yeah i have been on a mission to get these because i just think they are the cutest i love the little detail that they have on the hems so it almost goes into like a fine like sheer lacy material it's really lovely just a really gorgeous detail which makes them feel a little bit more expensive i mean they just look lovely as it is they obviously need a bit of a stinging and the color is gorgeous like i put these on and i instantly like i looked in the mirror and i looked more tanned and my hair like the blonde looked a nicer shade of blonde i think the color of these is like a magic color it's so beautiful and i got a size 10 and this has so much room in it so i could have got a size 8 as well you really could size down if you wanted to so the basic top and leggings are really lovely i'm very happy with them the leggings are actually sturdier than i thought that they would be not too sheer and i don't think that they are see-through at all to what i'm seeing and i'm in the good light right now so i'd be able to see the top is really nice like it's fitted i got a size 8 but it's nice and thick as well it's not too sheer it would be a nice one actually to layer over my thermal top because my thermal top is very very lightweight and sheer so i could layer the two together but this is definitely a much warmer piece but i think because it is cotton it will be more breathable as well than some of my other black basics so i thought this would be the perfect one to have in my winter basics wardrobe and i know some of you might find this boring but i know there are a lot of us here that love a practical winter essential and there was a lot of discussion in my practical winter essentials hauls over thermals and good basics and stuff like that so yeah i would highly recommend 
this little duo i'm very very happy with them and this is the fitted basic black roll neck i'm really happy with this one actually because the roll neck isn't too restrictive and i'm not feeling too claustrophobic in it which is great it's not too tight but i love the fit of it it sits a little bit shorter as well this would be a great one when i'm wearing like my high-waisted kind of leather skirts and bits like that my high-waisted jeans or my leather look trousers i think this would work really well under them because it's not too long and it's not too thick either so it's just gonna really tuck in so nicely and this length this is where it finishes this is perfect for when you have something high-waisted going over the top because if it's any longer you kind of end up with some bunching up or you have to like roll it up but this is like perfect for tucking in under stuff so yeah very happy with that so i now need to go through everything the rest of the stuff for my asos monthly edit i would go through all of it with you but we are literally losing daylight so i thought i'd just show you some of the bits that i really love but i don't think fit the theme that i have picked this month basically i just pick a theme every month yeah i'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate walk the dog go through the edit i'm having a very productive saturday like what even is this i should be on the sofa right now watching gilmore girls this is not the life for me i'm not happy about this you know you get some youtubers that are like so productive i'm like so productive yeah gotta remember that balance baby and tomorrow i will be slobbing on the sofa full slob mode it's gonna be great why am i like this anyway bye